Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is version 2.0 of my January planner setup because I made some changes and I've actually gone back to bullet journaling. So, well, I'll just kind of jump into it and show you what I've done. So this is actually a planner I've had for quite a while. I was using it, I believe it was the beginning of last year. And it was when I was in my Jibun Techo in B6 Stalogy. What I've gone back to is the B6 Stalogy again. So this is an Aura Estelle B6 TN um, cover. And right now she has them listed on her website, but they're out of stock. So I don't know if she's ever going to, I'm assuming she'll bring them back into stock again. Um, and if you hear Emma in the background, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'll try and cut it out. So pretty much everything is inside the Stalogy. I've gone ahead and put in my usual reference notebook, which I'm not going to flip through because I forgot to paper clip some of the pages together. And then I went ahead and did a B6, printed out the B6 size of my monthly inserts. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with these in here. This was just for forward planning, but I don't know that I'm actually going to need that. Um, well, let me just show you. So this cover I got a while ago. It's slightly too big. It is B6 size. And I did have this in here before, and I'll kind of show you. It was bending down the cover, the strings were, because it is basically the same size. So because I'd been storing it in here and it was just bent, I went ahead and just trimmed where it was bent, and so now it just fits. So that's kind of my hack for that. I have ordered some of the um, holographic jelly um, stuff to make a cover because I have a sewing machine and hey, how hard can it be? <laughs> so um, that will probably make an appearance here soon. Um, the sticker in here is from the Happy Planner. And so how I have this kind of set up, I do have some vinyl that I will probably print. So I may end up with a vinyl on the cover and then I've been doing tip in so I may tip in um, my word of the year, which actually has changed. And I, I'll probably go into that later in the video or maybe at a later time because I'll um, need to update my power sheets. So I have the bullet journal key that I'm using, um, which is fairly standard. The only thing, the asterisk that needs follow up, I'll show you an example in here. The first three pages I left for an index. Um, this is my future log. Funny story, I counted all the pages out and started back here with January, but I was two pages short for the months. So I ended up having to draw dividing lines here, which made this whole area very short. Ironically, it still fit these two by two post-it notes. I haven't decided if I wanna use this for like 2021 planning, or if I want to kind of use it to list projects and things so I can see what months I'm really busy. So until I figure that out, I went ahead and put sticky notes here because that way I don't have to make a firm commitment. So that's why there are post-it notes there. There's actually nothing underneath them yet. The next section is basically monthly overview. I just have a small monthly calendar here in the corner. Um, these, all of these stickers that have the script over kind of the printing, um, they're from Plan So Cute. They're printable stickers from Etsy. So I just have numbers of the month here, notes kind of about what's going on that month, and then just listing appointments here. Most of these appointments are already on my Google Calendar, so that's why I didn't include times. I just need to know that something's going on, and most of them are recurring, so I don't have to worry about when. So I have post-it notes here. This is somebody else's schedule that you know I wanna go ahead and add in. I do have these um, mild liner lines here indicating when I'm traveling, whether it is for work or for when I'm traveling back to Dallas. I have bought a ticket for the Go Wild conference, so if you will be there in Anaheim for that, leave a comment down below. We'll see. It'd be kind of fun to meet up with people. Um, if a big trip back, which will be nice in, at the end of May. And so just kind of everything. This is something we may be doing. I don't know if we are yet. So again, put it on a post-it note just in case. All right, so then we get into January. So what I've done, and I don't know how well it shows up. 
I've actually printed these out and in this case I just tipped it in. In this case I just adhered it to the page. Um, I think next time I'm going to try and make this a smidge smaller because where these two pages meet they kind of like, I don't know if you can hear that, it kind of crinkles and um, the pages rub together. And I also discover there's actually only 28 spaces down here for the daily part of the tending list, which most months have 30 or 31 days. So I haven't decided. I actually got these from SM Plans um, from her Etsy store. This was another printable. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I might be able to pull it in and add a few extra lines. I write small, not a big deal. We'll see. But like I said, I did tip this in. So this is essentially the same thing as this here. I had to print them differently so everything kind of prints front and back. Um, so I may actually list that version of it in my Etsy store. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below um, so that that way you can tip in a month with the task list on the front and the index on the back. So this is being used how I normally use it, just the monthly overview. Um, these are actually the removable in, uh, Avery index tabs that I adhered the Coco Daisy tabs to. Same ones that were in my traveler's notebook. I just pulled them out and stuck them in here so I can quickly flip to things. Over here on the left side, um, income that I have coming in from various things. I'm just jotting it down there. Um, so yeah, this page is for notes. I just listed a couple of books that I'm in the middle of listening to because I'm listening to them via Audible. And it's just a spot for me to put random stuff down. Um, and then I'm getting into the weekly sections. So I have a week over here with just kind of like what in general is going on that day. Um, HM's Happy Mail. I had ordered a bunch of stuff when I was out of town and it was all starting to come in. Um, appointments are listed here. I have my meal plan. This was the trip information for when I was coming back. On this side, I have a tracker for the weekly routine. I'm trying, daily and weekly routine, I'm trying to establish. Um, I just alternated highlighting the different lines to make it kind of easier to line up across. And then I have kind of a weekly to-do section here. This is more kind of as something occurs to me that I need to do, but it's not necessarily something that needs to be right, done right then. And then you can see I've drawn little arrows. Most of the time, this is getting forwarded into OmniFocus, which is actually where I'm keeping both work and home tasks right now that I'm not working on right then. Now, I did put sticky notes in here um, so that I wouldn't have to blur anything out because a lot of times everything got blurred out, whether it needed to or not, and I figured this way you could kind of see how I have things structured. So I was in Dallas Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So how I'm trying to lay out my days is on the left side of timeline and on the right side to do's and then either continuing down or across in the bottom a spot for journaling depending on how things are laid out. So if I don't have a lot of appointments, I'm just doing like one line per hour. So that's why it's like alternating 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8. I didn't have anything going on. I put it in just in case something came up. Nothing did at the end of the day. I just stuck a sticker there just to make it um, pretty. So um, a lot of these stickers, the washi tape, that sort of thing is from Coco Daisy and then the other stuff's from the Happy Planner sticker books. So that's where most of my stuff is from. Um, these are still from Plan So Cute as I mentioned earlier. So Wednesday you can see I had a few things that I needed to write in. So I did so. Um, Thursday was one of my days back at the office. So that's why it actually is a lot longer. I basically have two lines for each hour so I can do something on the hour and on the half hour. However, I didn't have anything scheduled. That was just in case something came up, nothing did. I mentioned about the asterisk for something that needs to be followed up with. So inside of notes generally is where I will find this. I'm, you know, making a note journaling, you know, like a short journal amount. And then I had something that occurs to me that I need to remember to do something about. And so I just put an asterisk there. Um, this I got as an idea from, I think it's Denise, Denise, 
whenever you have like names of people, it makes sense in your head. You go to say it out loud and then you can't. Um, anyway, she uses these skinny sticky notes. Um, I got mine from Amazon and she just uses them to highlight things that haven't been completed. So when you're flipping back through, you can quickly see what's still left to do. Um, this is actually a Hobonichi Weeks um, pencil board. I just stuck another Avery sticky tab on top of it and I'm using it for a dashboard. So it's B6 is, the Hobonichi Weeks is basically like a B6 slim, which is why this actually fits just perfectly. Anyway, um, Friday I did have some appointments. So again, you can see like the longer days with all the hours and then filled in with the appointment times. Um, and then because I want to have everything in two page spreads, um, Saturday and Sunday, because I generally don't have a lot going on, I'm going to put two on the same day, both Saturday in the top, Sunday at the bottom, and then they're gonna share a to-do list. Because a lot of times I have things that just need to get done but they just need to get done Saturday or Sunday. If they need to get done that day specifically, I'll put them in this section here. Otherwise, they'll just share a to-do list and it gets done whatever day it gets done. Um, so I've gone ahead and then counted out the next couple of weeks. So this will be my next weekly spread. So kind of the, the week overview on this page, the tracker and then the to-do list at the bottom. And then we'll get into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Thursday and Friday, I actually have a board retreat. So I'd received a tentative schedule. I went ahead and just put that on a sticky note um, because I'll be getting an agenda closer too. But that way I kind of have a general idea of what time I need to be at the board retreat on Thursday when I'm laying out that week. Um, then I'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then this will be my next weekly spread. That was where I stopped because that gets me through the end of January. So there's literally nothing else in this book. But so far, I mean, I've granted I've only used this for a week. I actually really like how this layout is working for me. And I, again, I, as before, I have room to go to an extra page if I need to for some reason. If something happens and I really need two pages for one day, I don't really think I'm going to, but if I need to in the future, I can do that. Um, but this is really quite a bit of room for me because I still have room to journal at the end of the day. And then again, room for Saturday and Sunday to share a time. And if I need an extra page, cause I am setting it up a week ahead, I can tip something in also. So that's not that big of a deal. So that's kind of what my new setup is right now. Um, in the back, I just have, this was also from SM Plans. Um, it came with, cause I bought the tending list and then there was a year at a glance. Cause I was thinking about tipping that in. I ended up not doing it. Cause I ended up actually just, um, writing them in, but it came with a list of the holidays. So I went ahead and put this in here just because I need to go back still, I think. Let me double check. I might've put it in um, and put in some of those movable holidays. Uh, nope, I did put in Thanksgiving and Easter already. So that was just more for reference. And then I bought a couple of stencils from Dear Lily Designs so that I can use these to, um, put the squares in and stuff, and then also to have a template for putting in the weather if I'd like to do that. So, I mean, I, I, I'm I still kind of technically in, in, as I was calling it, one book January, because um, everything's in here. This is a little bit smaller. It's definitely narrower. And so I, it fits actually better in my purse. And let me show you something kind of interesting. Just a second, let me go grab it. Okay, so wouldn't you know it, right after I switched, <laughs> the um, custom order that I placed from Vanderspeck came in. So this was the custom, I think it's a Nomad. It's a Nomad or Cod Codex, and I always get them confused. But essentially this was the same layout that Ink and Perfections had. It's sized for a regular size traveler's notebook, big back pocket. The only difference is because I wanted it to be the same size as the Foxy Fix, I had them widen it 10 millimeters. So I was looking at this and I was thinking, you know, it, it's actually fairly wide and <laughs> it's actually very wide. If I really wanted to, granted, there's like a, quite a bit of room here at the top. That actually fits my B6. So if I really wanted to, if I didn't mind the uh, space at the top, 
I could actually use this. I anticipate because I'm tipping stuff in that this is going to get fairly chunky. And I did try it. There's not enough room to actually put the full size traveler's notebook notebooks in here with it. Like this is a tight fit. Um, there's not any room, but I could actually still use this, which is good because I did just order this and it is a custom, so they're not inexpensive. Um, but I had also ordered a Moterm um, planner cover and that should be here shortly as well. So I have options, we'll just put it that way. And I may go back to the Traveler's Notebook. Um, I think I've decided it's the B6 and the Traveler's Notebook sizes are basically the two that I really like. Um, I can do the personal size, but these are just a slightly larger size and I just really like having the extra room. So anyway, um, who knows? Let's see, I think it's been a year and a half, maybe two years between when I ordered my, I think it's two years. So like two years and a few months ago, I ordered my first custom, which was a personal size. Um, this is my second one that I've ordered. So who knows, maybe in another year or two, I'll order a V6 size custom. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to just kind of give you a quick update as to where I am um, in planners, because this is completely different from where I've been before. Um, I actually even switched pens just because I kind of missed this. This is a Pentel Philography and it uses the Energel ink and I just use the 0.5 size because I have small handwriting, um, which fits just perfectly in here. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.